Did you know that money is the number one issue people in committed relationships fight about? In fact, when it comes to marital problems, money fights are the second leading cause of divorce. Hello everyone, I'm Patty Carroll from the University of Wisconsin-Madison Division of Extension. On today's UW Mindful Money Moment, I'm gonna to talk to you about money and relationships. One study about couples and money revealed it didn't matter how much money individuals made or how much money they were worth. Arguments about money are the top predictor for divorce simply because those arguments happen at all levels of the socioeconomic status. And yet, a recent study um, showed that almost half of couples did not discuss money before living together or getting married. So bear in mind, in addition to having a negative effect on children, the increased stress from arguing about money can lead to a decrease in financial planning, the very thing that could actually help better the situation. Even if money arguments don't end a relationship, they certainly decrease the satisfaction for people involved in those relationships. You know, the other thing to think about is it takes longer to recover from money arguments than any other kind of argument. And money arguments are more intense. Couples often use harsher language with each other, and those arguments tend to last longer. So why do people fight about money? One source of conflict is how differently people are raised to think about saving, spending, and investing. Researchers identified that when we are young, we observe our parents as financial role models and learn things from them that we internalize as part of our own identity of who we are. This is part of why money is sometimes really hard to talk about because there's no right or wrong answer. It's really about personal values. So for example, one person might spend money to show independence while their partner wants to save money for financial security. It's about their personal values. So how could people talk about money? Well, sharing your money history is a good place to start. Ask questions of each other. Questions like, are you more of a spender or a saver? Are you an impulse buyer or are you a serious planner? Do you like to keep good records or are you more of a free spirit? How much debt do you have? You could also talk about your future and that's a good place to learn about each other's values around money. You can ask each other questions about what are your short-term or long-term goals? How do you picture your day-to-day -day standard of living? How often do you like to travel? What about your retirement plans? What do you see as your future for retirement? So as you can see, communication and honesty provide an opportunity to grow as a couple as you share and talk about shared goals and you create financial futures together. So look for more financial education resources at the Division of Extension. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on another episode of UW Mindful Money Moments. Take care, everyone.